Justin Frichty. I'm the forage and cover crop specialist with Millborn Seeds. We're out here taking a peek at some cover crops that were planted. This was planted the 20th of August and uh, so I wanted to come up here just to show you what can happen with these cover crops even though I know that it was a very very trying time for wanting to plant cover crops um, we know that the moisture was very very limited this year and whether or not you should have been planting it all was a big question um, I guess if, if you had cattle and you really wondered and um, hopefully you can watch this video and at least see um, what the upside is if you are able to get an established cover crop. So this field here, like I said, was planted in the middle of August. We had a mixture of uh, forage peas, we had some radishes, we had some turnips. There's a little turnip. Uh, we got some volunteer weed obviously out here as well, but then we had a little bit of millet in here too. Um, really nice grazing mixture. We've got a lot of growth. These peas, you know, they've got two feet of growth on them. Radishes are starting to get some pretty big tubers. Uh, but really what this is going to be able to do is it's going to allow us to pull them cows off pasture earlier, come out here, graze this. We know it's extremely high protein, very, very digestible, good quality feed. Um, give them pastures a break before turning on on corn stalks and hopefully uh, be able to, to stay on them stalks just a little bit longer. What we're trying to do is we're trying to minimize winter feed costs because we all know what that can accumulate to throughout a year. And so if we can keep cows grazing, keep them on fields, plus do the, the benefit fits from a, from a uh, soil health standpoint with these huge tap roots, the diversity, having a legume in here, uh, those things are just excellent. So take a look at this. I'm sure you're as impressed as I am what we can do with a cover crop with limited rainfall in a drought year like this. I'm Justin Frichty. Thank you very much for watching today.